we got that recording we got this recording timer started and we are back with another wonderful sick days good evening my good people it is your boy um i don't even know if i should be saying my like full name carlos ramirez there's like a billion of us out there or if i should just say your boy the whole time either way welcome back to another wonderful episode of sick days this time it's just me kind of i didn't have enough time to schedule somebody this week or i tried but no one could make it thanks a lot Fabian. talking to you dude I'm going to call him in a bit. I thought maybe today for this episode, I'm going to call my friends and see what they're up to and see what they have to say about anything. And hopefully it sounds good and it sounds okay. I finally got my setup all fucking put together finally. This is my camera, an old Sony camera. I got my lighting. I got my microphone. It's all connected to my stupid laptop. And I can finally record everything together without some sort of freaking hiccup. At least I think it won't be. But I got backup recordings going on. I got it fully charged so the camera doesn't die. And this episode is only going to be about 45 minutes long. So there's that. Second, I don't want to miss another weekly episode, which I already did one. And I don't really do not want to make it a habit. So I'm trying really hard. So even if there isn't someone here, at least I did one episode. Thanks. Yeah, does that sound good to you guys? Yeah, I think it sounds great. But uh, we're here. We got our trusty Sierra Nevada Torpedo IPA. Can't do these without drinking. Is that a problem? I don't know. I only drink like once or twice a week, so I don't think it's a problem. And it's only one tall boy. Let's hope I don't spill it on my laptop and fuck everything up. Oh my god. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay. We were supposed to have some crazy thunderstorm, but that never happened. Kind of missed us like most storms do. Oh look, there's a little bug. Hmm. My window's kind of open. It's already hot. I'm trying to think about how I'm going to do these podcasts when it's super hot outside. But anyways, I want to start off by letting you guys know that I appreciate you. Um, there's people outside angry, so we'll see if they hear if you guys hear that. But kind of want to start off with talking about what I want to do with my life. I've been like given some serious thought, and I got it narrowed down to a few things that I know I want to do with my life. Number one, well, this this isn't even part of that list of accomplishments. Being a good dad is always going to be a thing that I want to be and want to do and achieve and grow in. Um, but like a reasonable thing that's like, because being a dad is like an eternal thing. Like once you become a dad, I believe you should always strive to be a better dad. I'm trying to think of things like when Aurora's out of the house and grown and she's her own human, like what am I going to go back to being? Like, I mean, I'll always be a dad, obviously, but like, 90% of my time is going to be worrying about myself again and letting her be her own little human and I'll always be there for her and help her whatever she needs but I think the things I really really want to accomplish in my life actually number one is already with Aurora like it's I want to take her to go see the Aurora lights and do a podcast with her yeah I want to get to the point where I have enough funds to take my daughter Aurora to go see the Aurora Lights when she turns 18 and do a podcast with her under the Aurora Lights. I'll do whatever I can. All my stuff is already mobile, so it won't be too hard. I'll just have like a low light camera record the whole thing and we can use our Zoom pod track V4. But I would love to make that a reality. Like I want to take her to go see them anyways. And I think it'd be an amazing interview for my daughter and just get to really pick her brain when she's 18. She's only five right now, but to do that would be amazing for me. I think that'd make me super happy. So I decided any funds I get from the premium subscribers, you guys are awesome. That money's just going to go to that trip. I don't care. I don't care how long it takes to accumulate that, but I'm going to make sure that money goes to that trip. It's going to be freaking awesome. Second on that list would probably have to be making a youth center, creating a youth center with an indoor skate park where I provide resources or we provide whoever is the team at that time, whoever provides together resources to at-risk youth and youth who aren't at risk and giving them life skills and social skills and job development skills and invite speakers over to talk with them and just bridge a gap that they might have in their life and make it a little easier when it's time to transition to adulthood. I think that's a goal I have and I think that'd be a super awesome goal to achieve. 
What would be my third goal? Hmm. I want to open up a coffee shop. That'd be fucking awesome. I've always wanted to open up my own coffee shop and make it a mixture of like Latin and punk influence and just fun. Have open mic nights. I kind of want to do that with the youth center as well, but like to do that in a coffee shop setting. It just sounds like a lot of fun. I want to open up a skate shop again. Maybe what I'll do is a coffee shop, skate shop, mix those two together. That'd be super sick. I don't know. I'm very business oriented, I guess, and ideas. I need to brush it up on my business skills. Obviously, I have one failed business under my belt. But I think that would be one of my ultimate goals to achieve that. I also want to have a TV show where I travel to different coffee shops and skate shops, I guess. That'd be fucking hilarious to have with my friends going with me and family members and loved ones. But I think those are my goals. Do an interview podcast with my daughter when she's 18 open up an indoor skate park that also doubles as a youth center where we provide resources and then a coffee shop skate shop and then a traveling show where i uh have interactions with people who own their own coffee shops and skate shops and give a little history about them oh another goal popped up in my head i want to make a TV show or an animated show or something with Jerry and Jojo, the skeleton and the cat skeleton that I have, because they were a big part of LBS. And I guess I can officially say this on here, but I'm putting LBS on the back burner. Like, I don't think I'm going to do any more things with it for a long, long while until I can get my life back together in a position where I feel comfortable doing LBS stuff. And it sucks. It hurts my heart. But I cannot give it the love it deserves. So from this point forward, I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I want to go back to it eventually and do it right and do it with love and do it with care and help the people that are involved with the team. Obviously, we have the skate team and then me, but like, I want to have a team that I do it with and just make something beautiful out of it and make good skate videos. And I just don't have the mental capacity or the time or the money to do any of those things right now. So I kind of have to put it in a box for now and it sucks, but I'd rather go back to it when I'm stable and able to produce the vision that I have in my head for it. Cause I want to make some things with LBS. That's like, I don't even know the right word. It's I want it to be intergenerational. Like, that's what I want to make with it. And I know it, to do something like that, you need a lot of love and a lot of effort. So for now, I'm just going to keep those thoughts in my head until I'm, I feel comfortable enough to produce that. But yeah, I think those are those are my goals. I think those are pretty good, right? Right? <sighs> Thank you, Sierra Nevada, for this beer. They're still not, they didn't respond to the last post I made, which is funny. But you know what? Let's call our first person. Let's see who answers at 10 o'clock. I don't know how many people are going to answer, but we're going to check. The first person I'm going to call is freaking Favian because he was the one I was trying to get a podcast of. We'll see how many of my friends answer. And this microphone picks up pretty well. Let's see. Hello? Hey, Favian. What's up? It's funny that you answered, dude. Huh? It's funny that you answered. Why is that funny? Because you were supposed to be on the podcast this week. This week? Yeah, I asked you on Thursday, but you decided to go to the Thursday Night Market. Wait, what? This week. I asked you. Remember remember on Thursday when I asked if you were free? Yeah. Wait, you're talking about last Thursday? No, this one. This coming up Thursday. No, the Thursday that just passed. Oh. Shit, I'm sorry, bro. It's okay. It's all right. You're on the podcast right now. (laughs) Well, I had no one. I had no one. So uh, I'm just in my room right now, and I got the camera on me and the lights. And I was like, let's see who answers. Let's see who my real friends are. Yeah, that's why I answered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then why couldn't I get the job at Amazon? I'm that. Huh? Why couldn't I get the job at Amazon? That's. I can't tell you right now, bro. (laughs) You can't tell me? Not, not right now. So, so there is a reason why I didn't get the job. <laughs> Dude, what 
you doing right now? I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing exactly what I told you. I'm in my room. I got the camera set up. I got everything. And I said, let's see who answers the phone because I'm going to interview people for like six, seven minutes each for the podcast. Oh, shit. I thought you were just fucking trolling me. No, 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 no. I'd send you a photo right now, but like, I'm, I'm recording. Oh, okay. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, go for it. Um, Wait, let me get back in my car. Hold on. Where are you at? I just got to the gym. Ooh, yeah. What was the workout? Huh? What was your workout? Well, I'm about to work out. Oh, you're about to work out. Okay, I won't keep you long, long then because I want you to be able to get your workout. What's the What's the most bullshit thing about working out? About working out? Yeah. I would say, like, you don't see results until, like, what, two months later? Yeah, that, that seems about right. I don't know about you, dude, but I get results, like, day one. I'm just different. Well, I've seen, like, no one person. Like, for me, I'd probably see in, like, five minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, like, I guess I'm just different like that. <laughs> That's weird, dude, because I get them, like, in one minute. What? I, like, I see the results, like, right when I touch the weights. Oh, it's, that's crazy. I see him like, instantly, like before I even go to the gym. Dude, that's so wild because like even when I didn't work out, my muscle mass was growing. That's crazy because like I was way bigger than you. Yeah, you've always been way bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Sheesh. Fabian's handsome. He makes good money and he's handsome. Ladies, go get at him. All right, what's the next question? Um... What's the name of the last spicy video that you watched? Spicy video? Yeah, well, like, you know, those naughty videos. What's the name of it? What was the title? Uh, I think it was, like, The Hills Have Thighs. <laughs> You're lying. Nah, dude. Really? No, I don't, I don't know the name of it. Wanna know mine? <laughs> what about you? Um, Deep Throat BBC. Oh, okay, me too. Is that what you watch? Yeah, me too. I got you, dude. I didn't watch that. Oh, yeah, I was kidding, too. Dude, I know for a fact you have a premium browsers account. <laughs> dude, I don't. I don't. You do? You can afford it. Okay, but I would spend on something else. What was the last thing you spent money on? The last thing? Yeah, like today. Um, what the fuck? I didn't spend anything today. But yesterday, I bought groceries. Ooh. Was it bullshit? I bought like 10 things, bro. And it was like over a hundred bucks. Shit, what'd you buy? I just bought like um, eggs, egg whites, uh, cheese, turkey, beef. Have you tried the bison? <laughs> you gotta get bison beef. That's even more expensive. Yeah, but it's good for you. Yeah. Are, are you trying to lean out or what? Huh? Are you trying to get lean? So right now I'm trying to cut because I'm going on vacation. Um... At the end of May with TJ. Oh, that's right. You're going to meet Jeff Bezos. Yeah, we're going to meet Jeff Bezos in uh, LA at a metal concert. That's so sick. Yeah, he's going to be moshing with us to Cannibal Corpse. That's beautiful. Well, are you going to be on the next podcast episode? Or when do you leave? I leave at the end of May, so... Okay, so you'll have time. Huh? You'll have time? Yeah, we'll have time. Okay, good, because I really want you on an episode. Because I, I really got to show you my blade work. <laughs> Dude, I showed you my blade work. I, I trained you first. What are you talking about? You don't know anything about the blade. Uh, you'll see. You'll you, like, see. You think you're better than me because you have a better job than me. You're more <laughs> handsome than me. You make more money than me. You talk to more women than me. You have more free time than me. Oh, that is false, bro. That's not true? You're more handsome than me. You're the blueprint. Huh? You're the blueprint, dude. <laughs> Wait, have you called Miguel yet? No, I haven't called. Should I call him next? Yeah, I'd call Miguel first. Or, okay. No, either Miguel or TJ. Okay, I'll call one of them. You think TJ's Here's awake? TJ. Okay, I'll call TJ, and then I'll call Miguel. All right. All right, thank you for chatting, Fabian. I hope you enjoy the gym. All right, man. Okay. Take care. Love you, dude. Well, that was fantastic. I'm glad he answered the phone. Well, he said, I'm going to have to call TJ. So let's go down to TJ. TJ is a good friend of mine, and I love talking to him. So he needs to be on this podcast. Let's go TJ, 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 TJ. Where the hell is his name here? Damn, oh, there it is. 
Let's call him, see what he says. We're in for a good treat. I hope this sounds well on the microphone, too. I'm sorry if it doesn't. Hello? Hey, TJ. Hey, what's up? You answered, dude. Yeah, what's going on? You're a real one. Who is this? You don't have my number? Damn. <laughs> How, what? Carlos? Yeah, it's me. Oh, shit. What's up, bro? Damn. My this number's on. Number? This is my number? Oh, I didn't tell you when I changed my phone. No, dude. I was like, like why is this person talking like they know me, dude? I, <laughs> what's up, bro? Oh, uh, dude. Uh, um, I'm doing a podcast right now. Oh, hell yeah, dude. How's it going? It's good. It's good. I didn't have any guests this week. And so I decided I'm just going to call up my friends and see how they're doing. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. I'm chilling, bro. Living life. How's everything with you? I'm vibing. We go through our struggles, but we make it through. I was just talking to Fabiano. He said I should call you. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. I was just talking to him before you did. <laughs> All right. You guys are smashing, huh? Huh? You guys are smashing, huh? Yeah, dude, it's all good. Luckily, we both know quickly, so... Dude, he keeps saying he knows blade work better than I do, but he's never touched a blade. Say that again? He keeps saying that he knows blade work better than I do, but I don't believe that he's ever even touched a blade. He definitely is lying about the blade, bro. Yeah, I knew it. You know how, you know how these hoes be these days? Yeah, you know I had a sword in my room for, like, the longest time. Yeah. Name the last time Fabian had a sword in his room. He doesn't, bro. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I'm gonna teach Except him a lesson. Try up his ass. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, you went to India recently, didn't you? I was supposed to. Oh, you didn't go? No. What happened? Uh. You don't have to say it on camera if you don't want to. I'm on camera. Well, I'm on camera. I'm holding my phone up bro, to the, my dude, microphone. Okay, listen to this shit, bro. This might save somebody. Okay. Fucking, uh, dude, when we got there. So the visa expired seven four, twenty twenty four, right? So we're like, oh, you know, we got a couple months before the visa expires. We'll just renew it when we get there too. Nope. In India, the day comes first. So it was the fourth month, seventh day, twenty twenty four. No way. Or sorry, it was eight. Yeah. Shit. Sorry, I'm watching that invincible. But fucking uh, yeah. So when we got there, it was like a day late. Oh shit! And they were like, "This can't get on," so we're like, "Fuck." Okay, so well, if anyone who's watching this, if you are, where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? India, but I think other places do it like that too. So okay, international uh, places. Make sure your visa's not expired. Yeah, make sure to not have an expired visa when you go places, guys. Especially with all the lockdowns going on lately. The lockdowns. I don't know, dude. There's always some random lockdown somewhere. COVID twenty three, yeah. bro. I guess I could see that, especially with an expired visa. Yeah. Dude, I once knew somebody who um, went over to Israel, I think. And this was like five or six years ago. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) We just got political. Let's go. Big titties. So what happened in Israel? Oh, um, he lost his visa for a bit. And so they, they almost held him there. Oh, yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, it'd be rough out there. Each time I go to Mexico, they always think I'm from there and they don't want to let me back. Say it again? I said each time I go to Mexico, they... they. You know what? Never mind. That joke sucked. I haven't even been to Mexico. I'm sorry, guys. That was a bad one. What'd you say? I was going to say each time I go to Mexico, they don't let me come back. To the States or to Mexico? To the States. Why? Yeah, it, it, it was a dumb joke, TJ. I've never been to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking get it. Like, you fucking came here illegally. Like, nah, bro, you're born here. How do you know that? Do you speak Spanish? I do speak Spanish. <laughs> Barely. Don't call me out like that. No, I'm just saying, Hola, bro. senor. Oh, como estás? Like, pero caliente. Pero like, caliente. Really didn't fucking speak Spanish, bro. What race are you, TJ? I'm Punjabi. Indian. Okay. Punjabi <laughs> Indian? Is that like a. I just specify. Yeah. I'm Punjabi. Well, because I know there's like a bunch of mixture of races in India, isn't there? And like fifty okay. different languages. Mutt says cool, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I um, each time I go into a, I meet an Indian guy. I'm pretty sure a lot, a lot of people around here are actually Punjabi, huh? Yeah. So like in like, in my experience, at least like the more rural side is uh, more Punjabi. Like US that's what city. I figured. I think it's got the highest population of Punjabis, like concentration outside of fucking Punjab itself. See, okay, that but, makes sense. Um, what was it? 
that makes a lot of sense because I swear I've heard the word Punjabi as a as a race like t- towards me like when I ask somebody where they're from or what they are they say Punjab and so I just wanted to make sure I'm not just stereotyping in my head and I'm racist. No, no, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. You see hella South Indians in the Bay Area and shit because they're hella into tech. Oh, those techie uh, bastards. Yeah, those fucking bastards. So, so South Indians are tech and like Punjab are like business. Yeah. Because all the Punjab I own, I, all the Punjab I know are like from, they have like an AMPM or a Wendy's or like some form yeah, of gas bro. station. Like, or 7 Eleven. Yeah, yeah. They got the hookup. Yeah, dude. Um, like, people stop, like, I feel like a lot of Punjabi stop saying they're Punjabi because there's a lot of political tension in India right now. Really? Yeah. I feel like. Well, do they say it to other people from India that they're not Punjabi, or do they say like to everyone else, like Americans? Because I feel like Americans and ourselves, like we don't know anything that's going on in India. Yeah, bro, like the whole farmers' protests and shit. That's right. Oh, is it because like Punjabi people generally sell their farms for money and then they move over to the states? Wait, say it again. So a lot of the Punjabi people I've met, they're they're pretty wealthy, and it's because they a lot of them told me that they had land in India, like farmland, and they just sold it to, like, corporates. And that's how they got their money to move to the States and start their businesses. Um, I'm, that, There might be some truth to that. Not that I know, but I think, like, the thing that's going on in job right now is, like, fuck, there's so much, dude. Uh, I'm trying to keep it as, like... <laughs> Too much? I'm, I'm running on, like, three hours of sleep, bro. Oh, okay. Basically, <laughs> there's a greater conspiracy to this, but... Right now, India has, like, a um, a mandatory minimum for crop purchases, and there's, like, a middleman whose job it is to find people to buy the crops of farmers, but the farmers go to this middleman, and they're trying to cut that middleman out and get rid of the mandatory minimum. If you know shit about the real world, you know that, like, in a capitalist system, any time that fucking something like that happens, big corporations start to take over, right? You've seen it with the medical field here. Fuck, you've seen it with the fucking farms here. Like, Bill Gates is the largest, like, Owns the most amount of farmland in the states. Oh, dude, he owns like half of Hawaii. Every single fucking industry, dude. That's what happened with grocery stores in a sense, right? Yeah. So that's what's happening in India now, too, is like the government's trying to allow the corporations to take over that farmland. Again, like there's counter arguments to this, too, but if that's just how it plays out in a capitalist system. Because if there's no mandatory minimums, they can keep buying out the land and really underselling the prices and forcing the farmers to sell their land, too. So that's what's going on. There's a huge protest about it, but these fucking brain dead Hindu nationalists are uh, hella in support of the government and stuff. So it's just a whole fucking shit show right now. But there's a huge distinction because there's like a whole huge movement from Indian Punjabis to create their own state. That sounds pretty sick. It would be, but you know, who knows how it would really play out because like, I feel like Pakistan and Khalistan is what it would be called would like mesh together well because Pakistan's like Punjab anyways. But India would fucking be hella against Khalistan, of course. I have no clue. I'm going to have to have you on an episode and you can explain the whole entire thing to me. Yeah, I don't know the whole entire thing, being an American, but like I do know like the gist of it, right? Yeah. So. Hell yeah, well. That we can definitely hoblar about. I'm down for that. Well, uh, well, thank you for your time, TJ. I appreciate that. I'm going to let you get some rest then, okay? You got someone else to call? Uh, I'm just calling random people, but you said you're off like three hours of sleep, so I want to make sure you get your rest. Yeah, no worries, bro. I care uh, about I'm you. Watching Invincible. Oh fuck I yeah, dude! It. What episode are you on? But, all right. What episode are you on? I'm just on the second episode, dude. So <laughs> oh shit, it gets I so intense, the, dude. Uh, last scene of the first episode, which I don't want to give too many spoilers. I'll just say the fight scene on Facebook. And I'm like, yo, this looks fucking sick. It's fucking good, huh? It's hella good because, like, the Flash rip off. Yeah. Like, the whole interaction yeah. with him, he's saving, you know, everybody. And then it happens to him. It's just like, what the fuck? Dude, that fucked me That's up when I saw it. He's a good ass dude, and, you know. Yeah, it got so me fucked like, up right, when dude, I saw that episode. But yeah, dude, keep on watching it. There's some good shit in there. All right, bro. You have a, you have a good one. Take care. You too. Good night, bro. I'll see you on an episode soon, all right? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Good night. Peace. Bye. Well, thank you, TJ. That was. That was awesome to, to look about and think about and talk about. I didn't know any of that was going on in India. Damn, I hope they're okay. Let's see, who should we call now? You know, I'm going to call my friend Timmy. I haven't talked to him in like s- forever. We'll see if he answers. Jesus Christ. 
By God, I hope he answers. I don't need. Well, I'm on a number. Hello. Uh, Timmy. Who's this? <laughs> it's Carlos. Oh, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good, really good. Are you asleep right now? I'm sorry. Oh no, you're good. Yeah, I'm just eating up some uh, this cake that I got going. You got your heating up cake. Yeah, I'm just eating up some shitty chocolate cake. I'm I'm calling you because I'm just I'm doing a podcast episode right now. Oh, nice. And uh, I decided I didn't I didn't have time to schedule someone to interview or talk to, and so I decided just to call my friends that I haven't talked to in a second. Well, hello, dude. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, are you still in? Where are you still at the coast? Yeah, I'm still in Humble. Holy still, uh, shit! I'm in Eureka, which is like a town over from where I was. Oh yeah, I used to camp nearby there all the time when I was a kid. Yeah, I'm. Um, Whoa. That's yeah, so I was fucking hard. At the diner for like the longest time. Tony's over here, but I'm working at a dispensary now. Oh shit! You're working at a dispo. <laughs> yeah. Dude, working I. At a... The Humboldt County Collective. That's so sick. I almost worked at a dispo. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, a pretty cush job, I'll say. But, Hell yeah, free weed and shit. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I almost got a job at a dispensary, but then my identity got stolen, so that person put warrants under my name, so I didn't get the job. Oh my god. It's okay. I'm innocent now. I had to go through like, <laughs> I, I literally went to court for like three months, <laughs> and they gave me a certificate of innocence. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Um. Long story short, some guy had my ID and he got arrested like three times with police and they um they used his ID that that was mine. I don't know how he got a copy of it, but he got warrants under my name and when I applied for the job they're like, Hey, you have warrants, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, and it was like one town over in Red Bluff and it turns out it was this homeless guy and when I called the police <laughs> dude, the most fucked up thing, when I called the police, they said that I should just go pay for my warrants what yeah and then That's after insane. three months my attorney got body cam footage from the officer who told me that i should just pay for my warrants and on the body cam footage it was obviously not me damn isn't that crazy that fucking profile dude yeah the guy looked nothing like me he looked like a cholo <laughs> who did drugs and then fell out of the gang or something <laughs> oh my god it was it was just really funny that that happened in I got no compensation for it. Oh, yeah, for real. Jesus. But uh, I just want to say yes. hi to you, Timmy. Dude, I miss you so fucking much. Yeah, dude, it's been a minute. i just been, um, the place I was living at beforehand here was super fucking expensive. And uh, we just, like, met this guy through one of uh, Tiffany's friends. And, yeah, we just moved in. And he, like, has a house and takes care for his mom most of the time so we kind of just keep it warm for him and yeah just kind of saving money right now and then oh, fuck yeah yeah i just got a new dog so that doesn't help but you know oh dude what's your dog's name suey dude like steve <laughs> Irwin's dog <laughs> <laughs> that's too good fuck dude I got a black lab capone oh fuck yeah Man, dude, it's been a minute though dude you're still doing um you still got a skate shop no i had to close down Oh man. Yeah, it sucked. But it's okay. I, I'm not giving up. I vent I was just talking about earlier on the podcast that eventually I wanna um save up my money again and open up again and make it a coffee slash skate shop. Still in uh the valley, right? Yeah, I'm in Chico now. Nice. Yeah, my brother's um he's out there right now. I forget exactly where he works, but he's uh he's working I wanna say out of Orville. Oh shit. He's out? Yeah, I'll have to um, have to go like stay with him or something, or maybe we'll all get together down there. Dude, fuck yeah, dude. I'd love to see you, Timmy. You know, last time I saw you was right before my daughter was born and Redding was about to be set on fire. Oh, man. Isn't that yeah. crazy? Yeah, that was right before I moved for doing it. Yeah, it's been like five years. Yeah. Holy shit. It's been a long while. For those yeah, watching, um, if anybody who's watching this remembers, reality sucks. Me and my oh, friend Timmy would do videos on that all the fucking time. I have some lifelong watchers and listeners, like, each time I do something. So there's been people that I've known for a good while watching this podcast. And it, and so they probably know that reference. But yeah, dude, we'll have to, um, 
Yeah, I thought you had my I changed my number. I think, Dude, I changed my number like one time, but um, or not my number, but my um, your handle. Call it? I got rid of Facebook. So did pretty I. Much. I think it's still up though. I got <laughs> I got to deactivate it. But no, dude, I I got rid of my old one. My number, so. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Timmy. To get together, dude, for sure. Just catch up or maybe play some video games. Dude, I'm on Fortnite all the time. You said Fortnite? Yeah. Okay. I'll have to download that and I've never really gotten into it or played it. I, it's, think I, I might have played it a couple times. It's so much funner like with friends. Thing. It's like the one of the ones, well, because I don't have a lot of money right now, so it's like the only one where I don't have to pay anything. True. So, like, I've been doing that and it's one of those easy ones where I don't have to worry about a storyline and stuff because of my daughter and being really busy with other junk oh yeah totally yeah but dude we'll have to get together and if i ever go up to eureka i'm gonna i'm gonna come say hello oh yeah for sure dude it'll be fucking sick i'll have to like pull up to your apartment or wherever you're living and do a podcast over there <laughs> yeah dude you can probably just stay over here or something and then um i can take time off of work for sure oh dude it'd be hype i have my yeah. my lights and my camera and my like my microphones and everything it'd be sick yeah dude that'd be tight i'd be down with that well hell yeah do you have any parting wisdom, Timmy? Because I know it's late. Wait, what was that? Do you have any parting wisdom for the listeners and viewers? Oh, me? Party wisdom? Partying. Oh, well, partying. Not partying, but partying. Like... Oh, my God. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no, dude, you're good. Oh, I don't know, dude. Uh, cross your T's, dot your I's, dude. What does that mean? At the end of the day, just uh, check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> Drink lots of water. <laughs> Call your parents. Uh, Timmy's old name used to be Pope Grandmaster Flex the Third. Oh yeah, dude. You know where to find me, dude. I, re- I don't even use my Instagram or anything, but yeah, dude. Shouts out to that old thing. Hell yeah, Timmy. Fuck yeah. Anyways, Timmy, really? thank you for answering. You're a real one. Oh yeah, dude. Who the hell I'm answers at? T- who answers at ten thirty at night? Oh, dude. I'm I'm a night owl. Oh. Insomniac. Oh fuck yeah. I love that shit. You've been an insomniac all your life. Oh, yeah. You know. Hell, yeah. All right, Timmy, thank you for answering. I appreciate you, dog. Oh, yeah, dude. Much love, my guy. I'll, to, uh, I'll, get, I'll, I'll call you soon, dude. Oh, hell, yeah. I love you, bro. For sure. I love you, too, dog. All right. Got you. Peace. Wow. I can't believe he answered. I, I didn't think Timmy would answer because he hasn't answered his phone. Well, I rarely call him, but that's pretty sick. Who should I call next? I think we have time for, like, one or two more. Let's see. Hmm. I need to drink my beer. Oh, I know who to call. That son of a bitch. Have I been... Yeah, okay. I thought I I was wondering if I've been video recording this whole time. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. We're going to call... We're going to call Ricky. We'll see if he answers. I don't know if he's going to answer, but we're going to call him. Is this a uh, cheeked up Ricky? Uh, I'm trying to see who's asking. <laughs> it's it's uh, cheeked up Carlos. Are the, are the ops listening? <laughs> well, anyone who's watching this podcast is listening. Oh, shit. <laughs> so the ops are definitely listening. <laughs> yeah, all of Ricky's enemies watch the Sick Days podcast. <laughs> Everyone who hates Ricky is my fan base. All my homies hate Ricky. <laughs> when I catch you, Ricky, when I when I see you, Ricky, it's gonna be over, Ricky. I'm gonna catch you, Ricky. Wait, am I actually on your podcast, or? Yes, right now, right now. I um I didn't have any guests this week because I couldn't schedule an interview because I'm an idiot, and then uh, I didn't want to miss one because I've been pretty consistent except for like two weeks ago I missed one episode. Uh-huh. But that's because I had a rural overall week. But I don't want to miss another episode, so right now I'm in my room calling people, asking them questions. <laughs> Hell yeah! Just random people? Yeah, well, my friends that I haven't seen in a long time. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Noise, yeah. noise. Yeah. So, um, my question for you, Ricky, is: Are you gonna be on the podcast or not? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be on the podcast. We can get drunk too. I'm actually almost gonna be moving into the new place, so you can come through whenever. Oh hell yeah! Is it okay that I video record there? 
<laughs> you can't put my toes on. <laughs> I'm only gonna record your toes the whole time. It's gonna <laughs> the episode's gonna be our feet, and it's just gonna be us talking. You only see our toes wiggling around the whole time. <laughs> It's gonna be like Carlos Cam and like <laughs> Ricky's Cam, and it, it's gonna pan over. It's gonna like switch switch uh, cameras, and it's like each time there's gonna be something new on your feet, <laughs> like some jelly. Your super high definition feet. Yeah. Oh yeah. 4K feet for free. 4K. Damn, you pay that much for feet. <laughs> Ricky. So first thing that came to mind when I called you, and I called you cheeked up, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what's really interesting. This is how I know I'm getting older, that people don't say cheeked up anymore. They say, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, damn. Yeah, it's a generational gap right now. Oh, no. Five years ago, everyone would say cheeked up, you know? And nobody says cheeked up anymore. They always say, yeah. I mean, I kind of, I like with both. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I think any form, any vernacular, whether it's cheeked up, yeah, or dump truck is a good one. Cheek is cheek, bro. <laughs> cheek is cheek. No matter the race or gender. No matter, no matter the gat. <laughs> a gat is a gat no matter what. <laughs> that, that, that one was stupid. I'd rather be low in the cheeks than to be low in the gat. <laughs> you know what's another thing I noticed? Uh-huh. I, I remember <laughs> Mewtwo build used to be an insult. Which one? When you call someone with a Mewtwo build, they're like, damn, they looking like Mewtwo right now. Oh, and now it's a fucking, now it's like a compliment. And I think I, I, from what I've noticed on the internet, women have taken that over as a compliment. They're like, I want that Mewtwo build. I got the Mewtwo build I am. Yeah, well, I know you built like Mewtwo, Ricky. Damn. <laughs> well, this is why I'm calling. That's <laughs> <laughs> so why I'm calling you so late. What do you think? <laughs> Nothing to do with the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you definitely gonna be on the podcast premium episode. <laughs> Podcast doing when I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gonna be recording. You know what? What, what are we gonna drink? Uh, your choice. Your 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 choice of the devil's liquid. Shit, are we gonna be like reviewing something? No, we're not. I mean, unless you want to review, te- we can review whatever you want. You want it to be a tequila review episode, and we have to like give a new review every time we take a drink. We're like George Clooney, and we like sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> George Clooney. <laughs> I mean, we can do whatever you want on the podcast. It's you know, an hour and 30 minutes of what the fuck ever. So, yes. What time? Are you yes. work tomorrow? Huh? Are you working tomorrow? I do work tomorrow. We'd have to do it like on a... What days are good for you? Weekends. Weekends? So maybe I'd have to do it like next Sunday night. Next Sunday night? Okay. Next Sunday night? No, actually, next Sunday night doesn't work. I have to take a royal birthday party. In Marysville. Damn, we'll figure out a time. She's, a DD. <laughs> <laughs> She's driving me there and driving me back. <laughs> you know I gotta party hard, Ricky. How many times have I been drunk at your house? Not too many times, huh? No, but I mean... When I do, I get drunk. I was gonna say that again. <laughs> yeah. So anyone listening, Ricky's really good at Smash Bros. And he's also really good at that one game from Nintendo... With all those different video game characters fighting each other. Did you catch that reference, Ricky? <laughs> Smash Bros? Oh, well, I said you're good at Smash Bros. Then I said you're also good at that video game by Nintendo where multiple video game characters fight each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're good at Smash Bros. <laughs> Why did you say it twice? Why did you deconstruct it? You didn't get the joke, dude. <laughs> Nobody understands my comedy around here. Is it because Nintendo fucking uh, demonetizes everything? No. It's because you're good at smashing bros. You're good at smash bros. <laughs> it's a joke saying you're gay. <laughs> I mean, depends Depends on who you who's offered, but $20 is $20, my it, guy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But uh, yeah, dude, you answered. I um, so far everyone I've called has answered. Oh shit! Hell yeah. That makes me really happy because, like, I wonder if they all thought I was gonna kill myself tonight. <laughs> like, because I don't really call anyone late at night, so anyone who'd pick up, I'd figure like maybe they thought something serious because I never call anybody. Like, yeah, not a, not as a joke, as a, like you know, just like damn, they actually answered. So like, you guys are really good friends. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, I mean, yeah. This economy nowadays, but you gotta. This answer. economy sucks, Ricky. Yeah, it blows. You fucking wish it blew me. <laughs> I 
That's why you got the homies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you right. Podcast over. I'm heading over to Ricky's. I'm not homosexual. I'm just homosexual. <laughs> That's a whole generation of memes too. What? The the being gay for the homies. Dude, that's yeah. That was about like a solid ten years ago. <laughs> oh, dude, you have so many good stories, huh? I mean, yeah, I'm, oh yeah. Stupid stories. I'm about to farm stuff. you for content, Ricky. Oh yeah. I'm, a, I'm just a professional yapper. <laughs> dude, that's what I've been thinking in my head this whole time. Like, I'm I'm a it's a yapathon. Literally half the stuff in the Discord, half the stuff that I say just goes nowhere. <laughs> People just listening to you, just like, uh huh, uh huh. Someone's in your car, like, like if you hitchhiked with some, like, like if you picked up a hitchhiker, and like you just start talking, they're like, damn, this guy's just yapping. <laughs> like, get me out of here. I thought you were gonna kill me at least. <laughs> Can you imagine getting picked up by some, or you? Yeah, hoping the guy kills you, but they just keep talking. Yeah. You didn't even ask about my gap. Anyways, you just stop. <laughs> yeah. The whole time the hitchhiker was like, "Man, I was gonna kill this guy," but he kept yapping about himself the whole time. Damn, he really lonely. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do this. Huh? Uh, Ricky, which which rapper do you think you're most like? Rapper right now? Rapper. Yeah, I'm, in... I'm getting heavy, heavy Drake vibes. Heavy what? Heavy Drake vibes. I don't know, man. With all these allegations, you, just, you can't really support all the rappers nowadays. So you can't support any rapper, that's right. I mean, I, I like Drake, but I want to say he's one of my favorites. Who's your favorite I rapper right now? allegations, too. I mean, not even allegations, it's just true. <laughs> Talking to Millie Bobby Brown? Yeah, <laughs> do that interview was wild actually. Who who's your favorite rapper? Who's my favorite rapper? Yeah. Shit. That's so freaking. I would have to honestly. I would have to go to my. I have to go to my YouTube to see what I listen to the most right now. Okay. Well, we can discuss it when we're on our when we do the podcast. But honestly, nowadays. The only time when I do all my when I'm listening to music is like when I'm at the gym. Yeah. And I'm just listening to a bunch of random ass shit. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You yeah, can... the gym bro will tell you that nowadays they just listen to sounds. <laughs> Just they don't even they don't okay. I I'm imagining someone just listening to the sounds of, of weights being lifted. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised already. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> the, the sound of the ASMR deadlift. It's just, it's just like bass boosted, just EDM stuff. Like, it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just EDM, like just dance music, or just. The, the dance till you're dead. It's like, I, I don't even know. I think it has to do something with, like, uh, with, with focusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, when you hear that rhythm, I imagine if it's songs with a lot of rhythm, they, they get in the zone. Yeah. Baby, don't hurt me no more. You know, you, normally people use, like, I don't know. Sad music when they're probably like doing cardio, <laughs> just running away from their problems. <laughs> and, uh, honestly, <laughs> that's but for too the most good. part, I'm just listening to just straight up sounds. I'll show, I'll show you some of the stuff that I listen to at the gym. You know, okay, like, we'll do that when we do the podcast. That way, I don't get um copyrighted real quick. <laughs> Same day, because uh, all, the all these episodes are put up on Spotify, so I'm pretty sure if I had like any copyright music they'd be like hey you're arrested for being illegal <laughs> huh? I don't know. <laughs> how'd they know <laughs> <laughs> all right ricky well i'm gonna go on to my last caller um i can't wait till we do the podcast do you have any uh words of wisdom before i let you go words of wisdom uh man being caught off guard Honestly, right now at ten thirty eight PM, there's no thoughts behind the behind these eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind is an enigma. <laughs> My words of wisdom will come on the day that I go on the podcast. Oh hell yeah, sounds good. Thank you, Ricky. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right, love you. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hell yeah. Okay, so we have time for one last caller. Who are we gonna call? Let's see. I know. I know who we're going to call. Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Last silly little guy. 
Let's see if he answers. I don't know if he's gonna answer. We'll see. Please leave your message. Oh, he forwarded me. Okay, he must be busy. Okay, one last person. We'll see, we'll see. He's probably going to call me back later. Just watch. Let's see. Oh my god. I know I'm going to call. He's going to have no clue. I have no clue if this person's going to answer. This is the last caller, okay? I don't think this person's going to answer either. No, no answer. It's okay, Kimo. It was my friend Kimo that I haven't talked to in like three years. All right, last person. And I think we all know who he's going to be. Let's talk to the boy, Jose. He he'll answer. Maybe. Yo. Hello? Yo, yo. Congratulations, listener. You're on the Sick Days podcast. Yo, shit. It's your boy. What's up? What's up? What you doing? Chilling, man. Hell yeah. I'm filming the episode for tomorrow right now. Really? Yeah. I, I had no guests this week, so I decided just to call people, and you're the final caller. Everyone's answered so far except for two people, and you're the final caller, bro. What you got to say about it? Uh, damn, bro. You caught me lacking, bro. I was yeah. out of in some bud and just chilling. You chilling? Yeah, man. You sound a little Wait, muffled up. Yeah, hold up. Let me, let me put my head up. I'm out here. Better. Uh, much better. Yeah, I was just playing some Fortnite earlier, you know. Oh, shit. Did you get a dub? No. No, no dubs. Lost my crown, bro. Dude, I'm sweating right now. I had like turn off the fan and everything. That way I don't get any interference in the light. It's uh, making me sweat, bro. And I'm drinking a beer. Dang. Yeah, dude. That was Amazon. I called Favian. It's been busy, man. At least for me. Yeah, he's having a good time. Yeah, I bet. I'm not fucking don't do shit, but. <laughs> oh, it's going to be too good. Every time I come in, bro, them fools just standing there doing nothing. You have beef with the Amazon um, supervisors. Everyone's got beef with the warehouse and the drivers, bro. There's there's beef, bro. Uh, summer's gonna suck, dude. It is, bro. You come back like drenched and tired, and they're like, "Oh, why can't you do your job?" <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! We got we're gonna have to um, film a new episode, like an actual video version of the podcast. Yeah, bro. You yeah, um, got to get a camera set up and everything. Dude, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I, I have my camera set up and I I got the plugins. Like I got the like the adapter and the cable to the Sony camera. So it like it feeds into OBS and then my uh, recording equipment feeds to OBS. So I'm getting it all synced up. Oh, dang. Actually, that sounds convenient. Dude, it's extremely convenient. Right now I'm just in my room and I have like the lights set up and whatnot. Heck yeah. It's been sick. But uh, you said like Amazon's been trash or what? I've just been busy, and uh, you know, just you know, complaints here and there. Nothing, nothing new. Oh just, shit! Uh, it's hella funny, dude. The person, the last person I called is calling back right now. Are you okay if I answer him real quick? Yeah, bro. Do your thing, man. Hell yeah, brother. Thanks for answering. Heck yeah, bro. Good luck. Yeet. Hey guys, really sorry. Um, this last portion of the video after Jose, my friend asked me to edit out their portion, so that will not be in there. So this is the end of the video. Sorry, guys. It's all good. Respect my homies. I love y'all. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. The last bit of the audio and video looks fucking shitty because I'm just doing this right now because the episode goes out like in five hours. So.
Love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.